In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial of the Splice video editing app. I'll be covering all the basics so that way when you finish this video, you can get started editing right away. Now, if you're new to the channel, I show you guys how to make videos on your smartphone so you can grow an audience, help others, and make money doing what you love. So if that interests you, be sure to subscribe and let's jump in to this tutorial. Now, I'll be doing this tutorial from my iPad, but don't worry if you're on a smartphone, it'll be the exact same process. It's just a little bit more spaced out. Plus, I can have a mouse hooked up and you guys can see where I'm clicking. So to start, all we're gonna do is click on new project. There we go. And then we can select our footage. I'm actually gonna click recents here and go down to my video editing album. And I actually have all the footage here that I actually wanna edit with. So what I can do is just select each of the videos. And you can see them all down here. If I want, I could even rearrange them right now if I want. And then once I'm done, I can click the next button It'll ask me to title my project and then also choose the aspect ratio. So whether you're on Instagram or you're wanting to make a TikTok or portrait mode there, you can select that all right now. Uh, we're gonna do this for YouTube. So I'm gonna do 16 by nine and we're gonna click create. It may prompt you to purchase the premium version, but you can just click the X button and skip past this and not worry about purchasing it. So we'll just click that. There we go, it's gonna add it all together. And there we go, it's in our timeline. We can actually use our finger and just slide across. We can look at all the footage. We can even zoom out by pinching. So that way we have a better view of all our clips in the timeline. Now, if you do need to add more footage other than this, you can click on media and go back in and add more footage, but we're gonna skip that. Uh, and then if we wanna rearrange clips right now, we just have to hold our finger down and we can move the clip around anywhere we want, let go, and there we go, we can move our clips around in our timeline. If you want to trim your videos, just simply click on the clip, and there's two ways you can trim. You can either just grab either side of the clip and just trim with your finger, but I find that to be a little bit harder because sometimes my finger slips and I've edited the video in a way I didn't want. Uh, so what I like to do is line up wherever I want to cut the video, and then what I do is I click the split button. And what that does is cut the video in half. So this is a video clip and this is a video clip. And then what I do is I just delete that beginning part that I don't want. And then what you can even do is you could go to the spot where you want to, if, if you wanted to cut something like in the middle, you could click the split button, go to the spot where the part in the middle ends that you don't want, click split again. And then you can just click delete in the middle and it's delete the middle part. So I find clicking the split button and then clicking delete to be a much more effective, efficient and accurate way to trim my clips. Now, if for some reason we made a mistake and we actually don't want to delete that, uh, there's actually a back button right here at the top. We can click that and it'll reverse all the actions that we did. And there we go. Now I have that full clip back on my timeline. So that reverse button can actually be really useful if you end up making a mistake while you're editing. All right, so now let's take our editing a little bit deeper and we'll start by just clicking on this video here. And down below we have access to all our settings. So we have the volume, the speed. Uh, up next here is filters. So if we wanna add a filter to our video, we could click here and select whichever filter we want. And then if we click on this, you can actually control how powerful that filter is. Uh, you can also click on adjust here and this will actually give you more settings to mess with to control your video. For example, you can control the exposure and make it brighter or darker. Uh, you can control the saturation, make it more colorful or make it in black and white, uh, etc. You can control these settings within the filters section. Up next on the list here, we have the crop button. So if you wanna zoom in on your video and crop in, just take your fingers, you can zoom in, and you can crop in on your video like so. And then we can just click off that crop button. And there we go, our video has been cropped in. Now there are some premium features in here that we're not gonna click on like animate or reverse. Um, just because we're gonna do this for the free version tutorial. If we want a paid version tutorial, I could do that later, but for this tutorial, we're just doing the free stuff. So I'm not gonna worry about all this other stuff, but that's basically the basics of just editing a single video clip. Now, if we click the arrow here and go back, we can actually now add 
do some other effects here that we'll go through. Uh, the first here is text. So we can click on this. It'll add text to the screen. We can double tap to edit the text. There we go. Click the check mark. And what we can actually do is grab this and we can move it around anywhere we want on the screen. So let's say we're going to center it right in the middle. That blue line pops up. Make it easy. There we go. And then we have access to also change our text effect down here. Uh, actually, a lot of these features are part of the premium edition. Uh, so we can't do too much editing to our text. But as you can see here, a lot of these features are part of the premium version, uh, which we do not have. So now, even though we can't do too much changing to the text, we can at least put some basic text on our video with the free version. Now the title button here, it allows you to add a title. So if you wanted it in uh, just like a black title, we can actually click on this text here. We'll just move it over like that. So you can have a black title where the title pops up in the beginning, kind of like showing you what the video is about, and then you could have the video play. Uh, so there is that option, which we'll just remove. Uh, there's also the sound effects button where you can add different sound effects to your videos or even a voiceover. Um, and then one more thing that I can show you here is the transition button. So in between two clips, if you actually click right here, you can add different transitions to your video. Then finally, once you're done, you can click the export button. You can choose whichever resolution you want and save it to your timeline. Now, I hope this tutorial was helpful in showing you the basics of the Splice video editing app. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.